Greetings Earthlings, I'm Alan Boyle with GeekWire. We're here with Shannon Rainey, who's the uh, owner of the uh, boat. Let's see, it's called uh, Miss DeJulia. DeJulia, Miss DeJulio presents J&Ds. Mm -hmm. And uh, also Tom Thompson, who is the driver for the boat. We're talking about technology today, how the technology has changed over the past 30 years or so. And has it changed? It looked, I, I don't know, I look at the old pictures and they look kind of the same. So is it all that much different? It's quite a bit of difference in the boats, the engines, even the crews because of the knowledge that they're able to gain now. And exactly how? Uh, are the engines different, the materials that you make it with, the avionics? The difference in the engines, in the technology with the engines, are ways we can check things and, and the dyno systems that we have to run engines on. And just the tools that are used to put the engines together now are far advanced. It, does it cost a lot to field the <laughs> boat? nowadays in the 21st century? It costs a lot more now than it did before just because the technology costs so much. Um, but the technology helps us with our speeds and you want to beat everyone on the race course. So mm -hmm. you got to pay the you got to pay the price to play. And I know in aviation there's a big move from metal to composites. Is it the same thing with Thunderbolts? It is. Um, we rebuilt this boat last winter, started October 1st um, and rebuilt it to the boat you see today. Um, it was half a boat last year. Um, mostly carbon fiber. Um, the technology with carbon fiber has come so far that these are lighter, faster um, than they were even 30 years ago. How much more faster and maneuverable is this? As far as faster, we're probably, depending on the size of the boat, between 20 and 30 mile per hour faster than we were before. And a lot of that has to do with the new technology and the design of the hull as well as the material that's used to make it lighter. And how does it handle? They handle great. It's, that's the whole key to it. If it's not handling well, you can come back in, make a few changes, whether it's the prop, whether it's a turn fan, whether it's the rudder. There's a lot of things you can do to dial in how well the boat handles. Are there any things that you folks miss about the old days? I love the technology. It makes our jobs easier. Yeah, I, you know, to be able to be safer, that's the Another big thing with technology is in the old days we weren't strapped in, now we're strapped in. So as far as the old days they were fun, but right now what we're doing is a whole lot more fun. <laughs> Any new gadgets, uh, stuff that you have on board that, uh, that would make a Gizmo fan's heart go pitter patter? Yeah, we run the Cosworth system. We're the only unlimited in the pits that runs the Cosworth and, and it's a telemetry data acquisition system um, that is amazing. It's, it's heads and tails above the old system that we used to use and the rest of the teams are using here. And basically that keeps track of, it monitors everything, his speed, the engine temperature, where his foot is on the pedal. I mean, it, it keeps track of every single thing that happens in the race boat while it's out there running. And he's got a digital screen in front of him that it, it corresponds to that tells him everything that's going on as well. It's um, the technology that Cosworth provides us is amazing. Does all this technology really make a difference in terms of winning or losing? Oh yes, it does. Because when I come in and you take the chip out and plug it into the computer, Scott can sit there and look at all of the things the engine's doing and tell if he needs to make an adjustment somewhere to get more horsepower. So as far as the future of hydroplane racing goes, uh, some people think, uh, well, this is kind of a 60s thing. Uh, it sounds like it really isn't, but where do you see the future going in terms of uh, hydroplane technology? <laughs> you know, that's the thing with technology is you just don't know what's gonna come next. Um, there's so many brilliant engineers out there working on what's gonna come up tomorrow that we have no idea where it's going to go. The sky's the limit, really. How long do you think you'll keep doing this? As long as my ability allows the team to win. As soon as I get to a point where I don't think that when I think I'm the issue with the boat, then I'll retire. I think you're going to be around for quite a while then. Good luck to you in the, in the hydroplane races, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you out there. For GeekWire, this is Alan Boyle, and watch the skies.